Salutations and greetings, ego hackers. Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the cognitive function known as FI, or introverted feeling. FI is the last function in our four judgment function series, and it makes decisions based on internal, personal morality, mood, and principles. The SFPs, NFPs, STJs, and NTJs are all of the FI users. So if we had to use one word to describe each of the judgment functions, we could call TE rational, TI logical, FE ethical, and finally FI is moral. So whereas ethics is the combination of what everyone else values, FI is the morality of the individual. It is a personal value, not a collective one. One FI user in society may value free speech over censorship, but if all the other FI users within that society value censorship over free speech, then the ethics of that society will tilt towards censorship. FI is a personal right or wrong, whereas FE is a collective right or wrong. How does FI work? Introverted feeling is attached to extroverted thinking through cognitive access. Cognitive access is the line of communication that travels through our own minds. All FI users are also TE users, and an FI user's personal morality starts with what information their TE gathers from others. In other words, a TE user is looking for other people's thoughts. Specifically, it is looking for the accompanying TI in other people. They absorb the TI user's thoughts and then use their FI to weigh out the value in other people's thoughts. If TI is an internal processor, then FI is an internal set of scales. FI users weigh out and consider the value of things. Something that feels more valuable has more weight. An FI user's burden is to build a system or hierarchy of priorities where they live their lives based on their priorities. This is one reason why FITE users are often good listeners, because they naturally seek to absorb other people's thoughts and weigh them out. This is how FI users form unique personal philosophies composed of principles. They gather other people's thoughts, weigh them out, and can then combine the valuable thoughts they've found to form a new personal philosophy. The more an FI user reads, researches, and gathers other people's thoughts with their TE, the more nuanced and profound their insights can be. What are FI users seeking? Because FI is a source of values, FI users want to see their values spread and embraced by others. Just as the TI user wants others to listen to them and apply their thinking, an FI user wants their values to become the moral standard that others use. If a TI user wants to be listened to, an FI user wants to be heard. And to be heard requires sensitivity. FI users know that they often judge things or people too quickly or too harshly. They're seeking others who do not judge as quickly or harshly as they are prone to doing. They want to air their feelings, moods, values, and philosophy to other people. They're not above debate or questioning, however. As long as they feel that you've respected their perspective and are engaged enough to learn more about it, they will usually react well when you ask questions or point out contradictions or issues with their values. Ultimately, an FI user wants you to think highly enough of them so that when you need advice or someone to talk to, you go to them first for their feedback and perspective. They want to be a source of wisdom and guidance for others, and to be regarded as someone capable of providing tremendous value to those who cross their path. How can an FI user ensure they're being good? The FI users who are courageous enough to have their values challenged and refined will listen to criticism from others. FI users can be resistant to the truth and TI logic that other types provide. So FI users are at risk of putting on their blinders and just swimming in the pool of their own values, mood, and perspective. A closed-minded FI user is a dangerous FI user. The highest risk for FI users amounts to supreme selfishness, where they either critically dismiss or remain blissfully unaware of other people's conflicting values, moods, and perceptions. But an FI user who uses their natural self-awareness to give, to contribute, and invest in other people will be able to better manage their selfishness. But the single most important characteristic that separates a naive, selfish FI user from a mature, deep, and generous FI user boils down to this. Are you open to listening and applying accurate criticisms from others? Do you allow your values to be challenged and refined, or do you shut out every voice but your own? FI users need to learn to not rush to judgment. They must ensure they have all the necessary facts before making a decision or judging someone as good or bad. How can introverted feelers make the right decisions? The integration of our cognitive functions is assisted primarily by how much we incorporate the opposite cognitive function. 
meaning that a TE user must learn to use the FE provided by others, and vice versa. Just as a TI user's logical judgment can only be completed by the weighing of an FI user, the quality of an FI user's judgments, morals, and philosophy will be affected in direct proportion to how much an FI user seeks the truth, or TI. The hardest thing for FI users to accept is that just because they feel something, or just because they value a certain principle or person higher than another, doesn't automatically make it true. The path to greatness, then, FI users, is to learn to balance your self-awareness of your mood and values not only with the capacity to be generous, gracious, and forgiving, but to seek the truth from others. If you seek TI, your FI will be wielded with a sharpness that will cut through steel and reach the hearts of men. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And until next time, thank you for watching.